Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan, and Salam Sejahtera untuk kita semua. My name is Elaga and I am LPDP worthy. Uh, I'm from PK192. Uh, PK actually stands for Persiapan Keberangkatan. This is like a pre-departure phase that we all always need to complete by attending uh, multiple different seminars from qualified people like, who have very excellent experiences in their own uh, expertise. So, I have an assignment from LPDP to make a video. Um, it's not like a, only just a video but also a report from someone that truly inspire other people and who has contributed his life to do something good for uh, other people around, around us. So I chose someone that I really looked up to and he has inspired me so much and I respect him a lot. He happens to be my former lecturer but he never stopped to be a mentor, to be my life mentor. He is like a brother to me. So I would like to introduce you guys to Mr. Danny Iskander is now pursuing his PhD program at Queen's University of Belfast in Northern Ireland, United Kingdom. He graduated from Islamic State University of Jakarta with English language and literature uh, degree, bachelor's degree, and he then continued his master's degree at Huangka, uh, also with the same major in English education. He got so much he's got so much uh, experience. He was an English instructor at Thomas Land and founder of Language Center of Technology of Atlanta, Machiro Antaspitu. He then became an English teacher as well at the English Way. He became also a director at the English Language Institute he also he was also a lecturer at the University of Muhammadiyah uh, the place where I got my bachelor's in English language. So, um, as someone that I chose to be on my video, I will, I will interview him today. Hopefully, we can get all useful information from him and how he really dedicated his life to his work and to inspire a lot of people around him and to really contribute to our education in Indonesia. That's why I chose him. Let's get into it. Let's interview him. Make sure that you watch this video until the very end so you can get a lot of insightful information. And Hopefully you can get also inspired by him. Thank you. So, okay, uh, I study in PhD education, especially PhD research in English, in English uh, teaching and learning. And my research interest is on uh, language and autonomy in online language learning environment. Uh, I chose this research interest because I already know that, you know, with the development of technology and digital native and everything, it's really important uh, for you to become autonomous in learning because all information is already there. It's, it has been provided and what you need is just to access that. I think the most challenging things that I ever had is to teach online because Teaching online is uh, a lot of things that you need to prepare. 
it is different dimension in comparison with the teaching offline in teaching online there should be a mutual understanding among the students and between the teachers and then the students and also the teachers need to be more creative and the students need to be more active and participative but that rarely happens because probably the students still prefer with the offline uh, teaching and learning and the teacher doesn't know how to accommodate or carry out teaching online So, um, uh, I've tried to publish um, international journals, but the waiting time is too long and it's too costly for me. So, I don't really do or publish any international journal, but just national journal. Okay. So talking about what we can do to improve education is very complex because it will involve many parties from the decision makers, in this case the government, and the school, and the teacher itself. So I will talk about everything the scale of the teachers. I think as a teacher, uh, if you want to make or to improve the education, you need to always learn because technology uh, advances and then also learning environment changes everything will change and you need to be able to adapt or have the skills to make adapt, adapt, adaptations so that uh, you are not going to left behind and you are still going to teach in accordance uh, with the current situation So the thing that you need to prepare if you really want to pursue a PhD program, the first one is um, you need to have a very solid background. For instance, if you are interested in English teaching and learning, you might need to prepare yourself. At least you should have a background of the English education in your previous academic background. And you need to have an experience in teaching and also you need to it will be beneficial if you have published some journals related to the teaching English or learning English.